Hey guys, Jen here. Um, this is going to be a short video. I just, I want to pose something here and I want it to be food for thought. That's my intention that people will just stop and maybe see things from a different perspective, put on somebody else's shoes, so to speak, put on a different pair of glasses, or take a step to the side of this, um, spectrum, you know, how there are different angles in a diamond. Well, take a step to the right or left and look, th look at things from a bit of a different angle. First thing I want to mention is I will be uploading a video. Um, it will take a long time, probably hours because I only operate from a phone and it's going to be a face to face video where I tell you about what I thought was a dream but as time passed and I recalled more of the experience, I'm not sure that I think it's a dream any longer. The goal now, though, is to try and let you guys, the audience, make up your own minds about what you think it is. The reason I share these things is because I think they will help others. And I think it's happening to a lot more people than we are aware of and a lot more people than um, you hear about. So, without further ado, the topic of this video, they want to be you. It's because they want to be you. I want you to ask yourself a question because I'm seeing a lot of negativity on YouTube, on the media, in the media, you know, every on every screen, from every paradigm. Sadly, it's coming from um, spiritual YouTubers as well, and that's discouraging Calling this place evil, saying that, you know, if we did consent to come here, why would we do such a thing? It's evil, this, that, and the other. I'm not going to get into whether or not we knew we were coming here and we consented to coming here. I think that's a topic that is a little deeper and is for another day. I'm trying to do things in some type of meaningful and easier to understand order this time around. That's why I'm starting over and I'm so happy that um, even though the channels are super small now, I'm so happy that you're here. And some of you on the newer channel really seem to, to be digging it. And that's encouraging. So thank you. And again, if you want to email me, if you want to tell me your story, if you'd like me to share your story, please let me know. Or comment below if you're um, not worried a bit about anonymity. They want to be us. Now, you can look at this from two ways. You can say, yeah, I believe everything in the media. I believe everything that I hear secondhand. Because everything that we learn here, unless it's by experience, is secondhand. That means we have to trust another man or woman and their research and or their experience. Are you willing to do that? Are you willing to put your soul on the line for secondhand information? Because they want to be you is why this is happening. Let me ask you a question. If this place is so evil and it is so degraded and you don't want to be here so badly, why do you think that the ones below us in the hierarchy, because trust me, there is a hierarchy and I'll touch on that in a minute. Why do you think they want so badly to be us? They want to take over our lives. You can see it. I mean, most of us that know we're in a spiritual war at this point, you can see this fight for um, evil to take over the realm. Ask yourself, why are they pushing this agenda? Why are they wanting to be human so badly? Because this is an anti-human agenda. Make no mistake. They want people depressed. They want you to hate this place. They want you to think it's nothing but suffering and evil so that one... It pushes you further away from your creator, your God, so that it gives God this paper doll image that we superimpose over top of him or her, that we um, assume that God is an evil tyrant if this place is nothing but evil and suffering, right? Let me ask you, why would people be pushing this agenda? And also, why are the demons trying to utilize other human beings to push this agenda and take that one further? 
Why are the demonic wanting to come through portals? Why are they trying to bring them through using things like CERN and the, the um, Goddard Tunnel rituals? Why are they trying to pull the demonic up to a higher frequency or a high, higher level in the hierarchy? Because we know that we have dominion over them. We have authority over the demons. All we have to do is say that we do not consent, get out, and they must go. Do you understand that? Most people don't understand that this is our realm. God gave it to us. And I believe, it's my belief, he, her, is just waiting for us to use our sovereignty, to use the consent and sovereignty and voice that we were given. Now, people will argue with me all day that we weren't given free will, that there is no such thing, that that's Luciferian. And, you know, they think by calling me a Luciferian or a Satanist that that will scare me and I will I will get back in my lane. This is why I claim no church. This is why I'm not a member of any church. This is why I kind of church hop because I love people and I love the ritual of people praising God, right? But I'm not a member of any church because I don't want anyone telling me what I can or can't say or what I can or cannot believe. When I got married, the only oath I've ever taken, I did not include obey in my vows. I would not say that. I was not going to vow to obey my husband even. So if my husband can't tell me what to do, if these trolls keep thinking they're going to be able to get me back in my lane, that's not going to happen. And the only reason I started over was to try and reach some different people this time in a different way. So this is food for thought. Why are so many pushing this demonic agenda? And trust me, that's a demonic agenda. If you're watching channels, big or small, that are telling you how terrible this place is, that's not true. Yes, there is good. Yes, there is evil. And evil is like a spiritual sickness that we all have within us. It is that dark wolf that we're supposed to be starving. And we are supposed to be being refined by this process. But instead, most people are looking for someone to follow. They're looking for some leader to save them or us. We don't need a, sa a savior in that way. Not in this realm. We are supposed to stand firm, and that's what God told me years ago, was to stand firm. I had to pause a moment. I apologize. So why are so many humans, then, pushing the agenda that this place is terrible? Because it is my belief. This is my opinion. It does not um, reflect the opinion of the creators on YouTube or YouTube itself as an entity, nor Google. It is my personal opinion and perspective and I do not consent to anyone clipping my videos using my videos using my voice or image but it is my belief we are in the middle of the biggest attempted blood libel sacrifice in the history of mankind and they are losing that's why we're seeing desperation and I would like the people involved in this if you're still there if you can still operate your own minds and bodies at this point because I believe many are taken over by a lower level sentient being yes it is sentient but all it knows is to survive much like a bacteria I believe that is represented by the black goo but that is for another set of videos so please stay tuned I will try to push these out daily again I think it is important because there is no one talking about these things and they're not talking about them and they repress and oppress my channel because they know that I'm on to them. We all have a direct line of communication with God. That is our spirit within. That is our Holy Spirit, the peace of God that is within us. Much like a child has the DNA of its parents, so do we have a piece of our creator. And so we can talk to him anytime we want. And I've been talking to God since I was a child. And I've learned how to listen to that voice. It took a long time and it took pushing away a lot of sin and cleaning myself up. But I do hear that voice now. This is why my channels are oppressed and repressed. 
And I don't care how many I reach. If I only reach one other person out there, then praise God. It is by the grace of God that I'm able to even still be here and do this with you. They want you to self-delete. Now I'm using a, a special term for that to avoid censorship. They want you to delete yourself. That's what they want. They want the youth to believe this is a simulation so their choices don't matter and who they harm doesn't really matter because it's nothing but a video game, right? That's why I don't go with simulation theory. Yes, we should look at this as a, a sandbox video game um, to push away the fear because fear is how they get into our lives and our hearts, but not to the point where we think our choices don't matter because Trust me, well, you don't have to trust me, but every decision we make here matters. Now, we are above the demonic, okay? We stand above them, and they are desperate now. And I say, good, let's keep them running and on their toes. Because have you ever wondered why when we peel back one layer of the onion, there's always another layer to peel back? We never can find the exact thing or entity responsible for the evil that's happening here it's because it doesn't want to be seen it doesn't want to be discovered it doesn't want you to know it exists the only way to expose it to the light is by one talking about it and two by making it come out into the light i look at myself as bait those with the ears to hear i hope you understand what i'm saying there so I tell them, bring it. I've got God, and I have no fear left in my heart. And in fact, I'm pretty righteously angry at this point that so many of my fellow men, especially males, are sitting back and doing nothing while the female, the woman, the mother is being degraded, abused, cast aside, and attempted to be cast out of our realm. And that is because they hate the woman. The woman has a special part of God and brings life. It is not this realm that's evil. We have a spiritual sickness, and it is manifesting, much like in the movie Ghostbusters, how it manifested beneath the city of New York in the pink goo. It is manifesting in our world as that black goo. And we'll get into that more later. But I want you to think about this. Long and hard about what perspective you see things through. And, and if you're believing everything on the media, because I'm here to tell you, they want you to believe this realm is evil. Even the wars that we see are Hollywood productions. Everything on the screen, from Hollywood, from the media, you can be assured is not real. It is fake. There are even certain stories, I believe, that are fabricated and put out just to give us hints and clues and breadcrumbs of what's going on here. And one more thing. We are told that death shall be cast into the lake of fire. Now, I don't agree with everything the Bible says. Paul tells us to divide the word properly. I believe that some of what's in there it is a bit of people listening to the wrong voice, the wrong God, especially in the Old Testament. I go with what Christ said and did, because Sermon on the Mount, that is all about love, and anyone who tells you differently does not understand. It is a spirit-driven book. They say Christ will come back with a sword. It's not a literal sword. Let the Bible define the Bible. What is the sword in the Bible? It's your tongue. It is the Word. It is the Word of God, and you use it as your sword, because it will cut these things down, trust me. Now, we're going to get into consent and what that has to do with these black-eyed entities. But first, I have to upload my video um, about my dreams. And again, it's not about me. It's because I think it's happening to a lot of us. And it's about reclaiming your sovereignty and telling these things. I do not consent. Go. I cast you out far from me. And in the name of Christ. I also believe that, yes, Native American Navajo Indians are able to cast things out as well. And they are able to hold back certain evils from us. I believe if you believe and if you are in touch with the true creator, 
that you will receive aid and help. This is why, again, I don't ascribe to just one religion, and I don't believe that other religions other than, than um, mine are wrong, per se. Are demons real? Heck yeah. But I believe that um, we've all been equipped to get rid of them, no matter what culture you're in. And I believe we have to read every book, every holy book, to understand, have a full understanding of, of what's going on here. That's just my opinion for now. That could change tomorrow with more information. And with more information, with more true information, our perspective should change. We should grow as we learn. And I'm telling you, I've learned. Number one, you have to consent to death. I think death is one of the lies. I've seen far too much. So either death has always been a lie and you have to consent to it and want to be ended. Um, or we are living in the era after Christ's return and we were born in the millennial reign and we are being tested by, by you know, Christ himself at this point. But again, these are, you know, some of these are just my opinions. I don't have all the answers, but I know consent is a big part of this. And I know, I know that our, our loving father would not put us in a place where we could actually be seriously harmed. But you cannot know true love and joy if you have not suffered. You wouldn't, you wouldn't um, appreciate joy and love. You wouldn't know how to how to cherish them if you had never suffered. We need that binary contrast at first. Now, once you learn that lesson, I don't think you have to suffer anymore. I think, again, you can cast that far from you. This is all about consent. You choose the path that you walk. You are above the demons, and you have to ask yourself, why do they want to be me? Why do they want this realm so badly for themselves? Because they don't think we deserve it. Let's show God that we're learning and we're growing and that we understand that we have the power through the sovereignty and free will that he gave us to choose to use our agency and cast these things far from us. They're getting desperate now and that's a good thing. Pray every day. Or, or meditate, whatever your thing is. But do not consent to anything else coming into you or your body as you're doing such things. And focus and use your words and your voice and make specific declarations about what you do consent to and what you do not consent to. But the very first thing you have to do with consent to know that you have it is to verbally declare, I am taking back my free will and I'm giving it to the Most High God. That will shake any entities loose that are influencing your decisions. But again, ask yourself, why do they want to be us so badly? God bless more soon.